If you've ever wanted to really quickly edit your arrangement in Ableton Live and arrangement view, it's really important that you know a few key commands. Hey, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live certified trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the edit time commands and how they can quickly speed up your workflow when editing your arrangement in arrangement view. Let's get started. Welcome to From Studio to Stage, where every Friday we post a brand new tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live on stage. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital. If you use your computer to make music, you need a high performance, rock solid hard drive. And that's what Oyen Digital does. Their Dura line of hard drives are excellent solutions for live performance. The U32 Shadow is a portable SSD with speeds up to 500 megabytes, low power usage, and a rugged enclosure, which makes it the perfect solution for a portable live performance drive. Because these drives have a USB-C connection, if you're using a brand new MacBook Pro, you can plug directly in your computer without any of those pesky adapters. To get 20% off any Dura hard drive, head to oyendigital.com and use the code Dura20. That's O-Y-E-N digital.com and use the code Dura20. Thanks to Oyen Digital for your support of From Studio to Stage. So using the edit time commands completely changes the workflow and experience of editing an arrangement in arrangement view. Uh, it's super easy to do. Essentially all you do is add shift to the normal keyboard shortcuts that you used to command X, uh, delete. It's very, very cool. So let me show you how this works. First, let's say we want to double a chorus. So if I were to take this B section of the song here and I want to double it. Now typically I would use duplicate, which would be command D, but watch what happens. When I do that, you'll see it keeps my arrangement exactly the same length and it just duplicates my clips. I don't want that. So I'm gonna do Command Z to undo that. And now instead of Command D, I wanna add Shift in so that I can duplicate time. Watch how cool this is, Command Shift D. You see the rest of my arrangement stretches out and makes room for that new section. And then I can add a new loc locator in to say B section number two. So that's how we can duplicate a song section. What if we wanna move a song section? This is very cool as well. So first, let me cut time. So I'm gonna take this song section here. I'm gonna do Command Shift X, which is gonna cut my time. It's gonna remove it. And then I wanna put it right before this lick in section. So I'm gonna expand this track so we can get it right here. Now, Command Shift V is gonna paste that section in between those two previous sections. Now, if I did that and I don't want it and I wanna remove it, if I hit delete, watch what happens. It keeps the time there. But again, if we add Command Shift Delete, that's gonna delete our time. So these are really, really useful shortcuts. If you produce your tracks in arrangement view, wanna quickly make some edits, or if you're live on stage running tracks and you need to quickly edit your song to match what's happening in that moment, edit time commands is gonna save you tons of time. So if you wanna learn more ways to use Ableton Live on stage to perform, make sure to head to fromstudiotostage.com where you can set up a free seven day trial. It's gonna give you access to the entire course catalog, a private Facebook community, and a monthly call with all the subscribers where we talk about what we're learning with Ableton Live, I answer any questions that you have, and I share what I'm currently learning with Ableton Live. I think you'll really enjoy it. But thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you next week. Take care.